Yeah. I'm here today in the Butteri National Park down in Jervis Bay, about three and a half hours south of Sydney. I uh, just came here for a little road trip with friends, a little hangout at an Airbnb, just before I start some contract work. But before I came here, I won a little eBay auction. I won myself a Chinon GS9 camera. Uh, it was $15 Australian, so what, 10 US. And Chinon GS9 is a bridge camera Similar cameras are like the Yashica Samurai, the Ricoh Mirai, and the Canon Futura. They're almost handy cam in their aesthetic, but a bridge camera is essentially an SLR with a non-interchangeable zoom lens. So they're kind of halfway between like a Canon A1 and your dad's little handy cam when you're a kid, a little VHS handy cam. So I haven't shot this yet. I'm gonna load some Kodak Gold 200 into it and just gonna walk around and shoot all different things. I'm gonna get out of here before a brown snake bites my ass. Wait a sec, I haven't even talked about the camera's specs. The camera has a 38 to 110 millimeter lens with an aperture of f4.4 to 5.6. There's a self timer mode, exposure compensation. There's also an auto zoom program mode, which is super annoying, but more on that later. The shutter button is up top with half press focus. It has a flash up top. There's a tripod mount at the bottom, side strap on the side, and the camera takes a 2CR5 battery. All right, back to it. What noise do you do for a kangaroo?
it's, uh, it's now day two. Um, yesterday we kind of hung around a bit longer in the National Park, uh, went up to Murray's Beach at the end of the National Park and saw a couple other roos and took some photos. And then this morning uh, we got up at sunrise, which was perfect. Um, and then today we're just back in the National Park. We're actually back at the same beach, Caves Beach. I've got about eight photos left. So I'm gonna take eight photos and just finish off the roll on the GS9 and just kind of cruise for the rest of the day. It's been a hot minute since we've gone to Vincentia and I've taken those photos. I've pretty much just continued to shoot this camera and I absolutely adore it. I shot some Portra 400 in Newcastle, just around town and then also at a spooky themed party. And it held up really well with flash photography as well on that night. I also just shot another roll of Kodak 200, uh, just in around home. I also tested it at night time. Uh, I tested it handheld with flash, and I tested it on a tripod using the self-timer mode. Both circumstances, it did quite well. Um, I think it's really reliable. You've got a half press. So the chin on GS9 is definitely a bit bigger than your average SLR, like a Canon A1 or Pentax K1000, and it's a lot bigger than a point and shoot. It's not something that you can just pocket, you'd have to bring it in a bag, and it does weigh a bit more as well, but it feels really sturdy in the hands. So one annoying thing about the chin on Genesis 9 is that when you boot it up, it has an auto zoom composure mode. Pretty much the camera just determines what it wants your zoom to be and kind of just crops in on the image to certain things. And it's quite frustrating because you've got a shot in mind, you start up the camera and you go to use your zooms up the top here and they don't work. And the camera just picks what you want and takes the shot and yeah, it's painful. So every time you start the camera, you have to turn that auto zoom off or the zoom program mode off and then you can do whatever you want. A little frustrating, but whatever. Would I recommend the Chinon GS9? Hell yeah, I would. It's sturdy, reliable, and it takes nice, little sharp vacation photos. I'm gonna continue shooting this thing. I'm gonna continue putting rolls through it. But you know what bothers me is that there's so many point and shoots out there that are like 10 times the price of this thing. And they take pretty similar photos. I mean, if you're looking to get into film photography, why wouldn't you pick up a bridge camera? You know, it's so much cheaper. I guess the only thing you're dealing with is chunky size. It's not pocketable. You might not look that stylish, but you know what? You're not very stylish. Get over yourself. Buy a bridge camera. Maybe it's about time, you know, you, you cross that bridge and you, you just met a new little BFF and you can go on dates together and take nice photos. So yeah, go buy a bridge camera. Maybe not the Yashica Samurai, that's pretty expensive, but go buy Chinon. Join the Genesis gang. <laughs> <laughs>